it up here. Hi. Um, in case of a fire, be very careful. Yeah, that's, that's all we have for you. I'm sorry. Um, actually, if we could keep the aisle clear, that's uh, important for our games. So if you could so sit along one side of the sit along one side or like yeah, move up to the front. Yeah, that's plenty of space. Cool. Okay, cool. Let's play some games then. Now that we're all acquainted and oriented. Um, so the first game we're gonna play is a game called Pan. So can I have the three people who are playing Pan? Go up so we can do that. I want to stand um, in front of anyone. Okay, so in this game, we're going to have three different scenes with three different relationships, and we're going to pan in between them. So these two in the front will be a relationship. I'm going to need a little bit of audience participation, if that's okay. So can I get a relationship for these two, like Dr. Payton? I said that. Barber and <laughs> evil like, baby person. and man. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Amusement park workers. <laughs> Barber and client. Jesse and her mom. I with baby and nanny. I like baby and nanny. Alright, pan left. Another relationship. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, that's good. Keep going more. Traveling salesman. Traveling salesman. Traveling salesman. Traveling salesman. Traveling salesman. Traveling salesman. Yeah. Oh, we can do that. We're so good at that. Come on! 
I yeah. didn't, there was Y, and I didn't know yeah. the next letter. <laughs> Tatus a great first sock Using charades, basically, how she, why she was late, how she got to work, while the boss is asking Karen questions. Sometimes she'll turn around and be like, "What are you guys doing? Why are you in those wacky positions?" You'll see how it works. It makes sense. Uh, can I have a reason why Karen was late? She, she was elected president. Okay. okay. <laughs> she's very high. She alien abduction. She's right in her bicycle. Yeah. Alien abduction, and that's why Karen was late. Now, can I have a way that she eventually got to work? Another drug her. Dog slip. Kickstarter campaign. <laughs> that's also <laughs> way too abstract. Go fund me campaign. Wait, wait, I heard about reptiles. <laughs> sure, unicycle. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. yeah, sure. So why was she why was she late? Alien the, abduction. An alien abduction. Yeah, exactly. And then how'd she eventually get here? Her unicycle, obviously. Great. Uh, Alright, can we all just call out in unison for Karen and maybe she'll hear and maybe she won't? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Karen! <laughs> oh, she heard. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Bring your mom to work then? <laughs> I'm so sorry. She insisted. She insisted. I apologize, Miss Green. <laughs> Dr. Allen Dr. Greenfield. I'm so sorry. Well, do you want to explain why you're late? I would. <laughs> and you too? I just had a concussion. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, right, spiritual healing, what we do here at, at Spiritual Network. Healing <laughs> Well, I, uh... <laughs> ram. You were a ram. No. <laughs> I was not a ram, but there was a ram. There was a ram. It was, it was hit by a car, and I had to... <laughs> yes. You know where we're going? To healing. Got it, you got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. keep on doing it. Okay. It was really just my fault. As, as a dancer. Okay, here's, here's, here's the, here's the, there was a little, Antlered animals. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> definitely a squid. Or not. <laughs> Are you looking for healing? <laughs> God. <laughs> Today, God 
came down to me and lifted me from my misery and said, today's your day. Well, I mean, you know, that's great. I'll kind of do that here. And then I exploded. What happened? I was in a rocket ship when I woke up this morning. I found myself in outer space with the fucking aliens. I've been trapped in so I'll find him someday. 
I got I got some intel. Okay, I got some intel. Charlie's been uh, hanging around over on that side of the factory. Oh, uh, that side. That side of the factory. There's been some uh, pretty suspicious things going on on that, that side of the factory. <laughs> I think we should maybe check it out. <laughs> so, Mr. Gumdrop, <laughs> um, I was. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I was. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Back to the top of Gumdrop Mountain. Because oh. that is where my family is. <laughs> and I haven't seen them in four years. <laughs> That's really nice. I just, you know, I live on, on Terra Clove Avenue in the, the purple house, and I was just wondering. Terra Clove Avenue? Yeah. That's pretty close to going Gumdrop Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> if you wanted to come to my home, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. No, no, it's but not stupid. Love you. My no, parents. it's not stupid. Your parents, no. <laughs> of course. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. It's just like I feel like it's just like five more steps away, and we can like we can find some other clue. We can get there. So close to the gumdrops, because these chocolate bars are really just not doing it. You no, know, they're kind of getting all on my face. They're melting. They're melting. The face. They're melting. The face. Ugh. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I say we leave soon. Don't <laughs> drop that one. Sure. And then we'll have a snack at my house. Yeah. Meet your parents. <laughs> Alphabet soup. Wait, if you've seen the cheap sauce. What? Can we give her trying to diss Maddie, she just got a round of applause at the beginning, and I didn't want it to go to the head. Um, Alphabet Soup, if you guys have seen it, uh, a Cheap Sock show, probably you've seen ABC, is the way it works. It's a scene, 26 lines, each line starts with the next letter of the alphabet. So what I need from you guys is a non-geographic location, and also a letter of the alphabet to start with. So first, uh, non-geographic location. Uh, for one a, 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 a garden. You guys are in a garden. Can I get a letter? T. E. 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 Everything's so green. Franklin, I know. I'm here every day. Granddad. <laughs> Possible, but 
I saw something in you the day we first met, which is when you were born. <laughs> judging by her palm. <laughs> She's dead now. But we're still connected here. I, I remember one day when when we were reading each other's palms. <laughs> How do you read each other's palms when you have to use your palm to read the other person's palm? Son <laughs> Flora, you really do have a bright mind, but you have a brighter palm. <laughs> Jackson, do you really think that? I do, I do. I really think one day you would be able to take over my palm reading industry. <laughs> I was thinking, this is just a thought. Don't, don't judge me. You can already probably tell what I'm going to say. I can. <laughs> I'm thinking we make it corporate. A palm on every block. <laughs> All the palms, we put all the little palm readers out of business. <laughs> and we just take it all. Son of Flora, your energy is, is really vibrating inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> what was that last bit of dark vibration I felt on your palm? No, Son Flora, no! You want to take the palm industry. No, Son Flora, how dare you accuse me? Well, you'll all have you know I've already talked to the copy palm writer. <laughs> Friends with copy palm reader. And they will take you down if you try. You would not betray me, your best soul sister, like that. <laughs> Um, no one, I, my palms are not being read. No one knows what I'm thinking. I did not betray anyone. And her palms are cold and lying. <laughs> That's all. Hey there. <laughs> 
name's Arnold Palmer. <laughs> you might know me from golf, iced tea lemonade, and most recently, palm reading. <laughs> the year was 1851. I established my empire and I established it quickly. <laughs> but I had one student who came back a hundred and 60 years later, warning me that she was unsafe. And let me tell you, I've never seen a palm or a putt as ugly as this. Arnold, Arnold, you must help me. Sorry, uh, I have a new interest in uh, bonsai plants. Branch <laughs> out. <laughs> Your palms. One is beautiful, showing a long, long life, but the other, it shows someone stabbing you directly in the chest. Oh my god, like a lot of detail. Like, like it looks like it's gonna affect your vertebrae. Like, even if you survived, it would be a pretty serious main. <laughs> in an ugly business of corporations and industry. And I know I strayed away from your teachings, which was to stay close to the ground. But now I'm scared. Look at me. Just as in golf, my advice to you, avoid a bogey. <laughs> Maybe I should have been more specific. <laughs> you may have heard of Big Pharma, but I'm Big Palma. And with this little one over here, thought they were gonna muscle in on my territory. Well. I just couldn't be having that. <laughs> so, Mr. Jameson, I guess the lifelines run out. I guess you can't read anymore. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just gotta know before I. Stab you with this long knife. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it'll either kill you or very dangerously maim you. No one's around, so I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, how did I end up here? If only I had my palms to tell me where I went wrong! See, that's the problem with little people like you, Jameson. You think you can do everything yourself. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Airport terminal. A bank, karaoke bar. Capturing. Okay, I like to have karaoke bar. She talks in a karaoke bar. Suppose potentially I could go. <laughs> oh, Nikki. You're my secretary. Which means you come to karaoke with Yolo. me. YOLO. And you often listen, obviously, to me <laughs> sing Frank Sinatra songs. Uh, it's in your contract, and you get to see what a dick I am. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> But you know, I feel like you often treat me like NJB. Not just best friends, but, <laughs> but that I'm your underling. Nikki. Yeah, we were best friends in high school. And you made, made some mistakes. I made some good choices. <laughs> really, it's probably your fault. <laughs> Switched SAT scores with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you tricked me into that. Are you doing this thing again where you like, ooh, say the truth? <laughs> it's, it's not a very attractive quality. <laughs> HBE. Honestly, buddy, everyone kind of thinks you suck. <laughs> and it's probably because. You're honest and work for your best friend. <laughs> NBC. No. But can we be best friends and I work for you and I'm a functional person and sometimes I make your breakfast? <laughs> I mean, that is the arrangement we currently have. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds like you're also criticizing me as a person. H -E. Happy birthday, Emma! <laughs> <laughs> Hold back. <laughs> I don't think I want this job anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, <laughs> But you obviously. <laughs> Bake the <laughs> best breakfast muffins. What am I gonna do without you? I need you to stay as my assistant. Uh, well, that is not my concern. Hey, I am. I actually made a special song just for this occasion, and it's already queued up on the karaoke machine. Playing a special song. <laughs> you treat me like shit. You tell I'm a slob. You switched SAT scores and you slept with my mom. <laughs> Always the little guy, the one on the bottom. And if you're not careful, I am a Joe. I might opossum. <laughs> lyrics to this song, but I am never talking to you again. Well, you know what? You're not my best friend. See? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, we're running ahead of schedule, which is dope. Uh, our, the last thing that we have for you guys is called Sex With Me. It's a fan favorite. It's just us making a bunch of sex jokes. Um, what we need from you guys is just an occupation or an object, and then we're just gonna stand in a back line and pop forward and make sex jokes. Dinosaur. 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 Let's do dinosaur. Sex With Me is like a dinosaur. It's been a while since we saw it. <laughs> 
with me is like a dinosaur in museums. <laughs> Sex with me is like a dinosaur. All of the art artist's renditions of it are wrong. <laughs> Sex with me is like a dinosaur. If you just heard about it from descriptions, there would be le way fewer feathers described. <laughs> Sex with me is like dinosaurs. They don't work in an amusement park setting. <laughs> Sex with me is like dinosaurs. T-Rexalent. <laughs> Sex with me is like dinosaurs. There'll be wars over it later when it fuels you. <laughs> Sex with me is like dinosaurs. We were having a grand old time till the meteor came. <laughs> Sex with me is like a dinosaur, because I lick a lot of puss. <laughs> uh, Sex with me is like that raptor in Jurassic World, because I have so much sexual chemistry with Chris Pratt. <laughs> Sex with me is like a dinosaur. If you actually heard an in-depth description, you'd question why children learn about it so young. Sex with me is like an incomplete dinosaur in a museum. The claws are missing. I like my men like I like my dinosaurs. Larger than the current animals. Oh. Dinosaurs, it's a lot of bones now. <laughs> Sex with me is like dinosaurs. Sure, ass! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Get another Object occupation. Slinky. Oh, that's sick. Uh, let's go with Slinky. I don't think that we've ever done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like a Slinky. It works best when we're falling down the stairs. <laughs> It's like nice and smooth, but then it just gets all tangled and complicated. <laughs> Sex with me is like a slinky. Really big in the 80s, I think. <laughs> Sex with me is like a dinosaur. Really big in the 90s. Sex with me is like a slinky. Really big in the 90s. Sex with me is like a slinky. A good way to teach kids about physics. <laughs> When you got nothing else to do, it'll suffice. <laughs> Sex with me is like a slinky. I promise it gets bigger. <laughs> Sex with me is like a slinky. It's a bad gift. <laughs> uh, Sex with me is like a slinky because actually I think it's a pretty good gift. <laughs> Sex with me is like the library because there's a really convenient place to smoke after you're done. Sex with me is like the library. You've been in there for hours and then suddenly you turn around and you're like, where am I? <laughs> Replaced by the internet. <laughs> Sex with me is like studying in the library. A lot of awkward silences and pauses. <laughs> uh, Sex with me is like a library, because if I can't satisfy your needs, I'm sure that there's another one in the Massachusetts area. <laughs> Sex with me is like Tish Library. Um, when it's close to being done, you'll hear a nice soothing voice. <laughs> Sex with me is like a library. I'm always having trouble finding the hard copies. <laughs>
me, it's like a library. There's always some weird guy on the computer for five hours while you're in there. <laughs> Sex is like a library. They also carry films. <laughs> Sex with me is like a library. You start out studying with like one friend and then someone else comes in and then someone else comes in. <laughs> Sex with me is like a library. You see the oldest women there. <laughs> Uh, sex with me is like the library. Everyone describes it as this like intensive experience, but most of the time I just like go in for five minutes and I'm done. <laughs> sex with me is like the library. There's always someone really helpful to tell you where to go when you don't know what's going on. Sex with me is like the library, invented by Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> uh, sex with me is like libraries at Tufts because by popular demand, People are trying to make sure that it's 24 7. Sex with me is like the library. Check it out. <laughs> uh, one more object professor. Fireplace. Fisherman. Window cleaner. They're illegal. Trout. Fermentation. <laughs> Fireplace. <laughs> what? Sex with me is like a fireplace. It's what warms the hearth. <laughs> Sex with me is like a fireplace, chest, nuts, roasting by the open fire. <laughs> because you're like, there's no way that's going to fit. <laughs> Sex with me is like a fireplace. When people get close, you know they want some more. <laughs> like a fireplace, lots of prods. <laughs> Sex with me is like a fireplace because there's like a 10 hour long YouTube video where you can just watch it like... <laughs> uh, Sex with me is like a fireplace, it's mostly electronic now. <laughs> Sex with me is like a fireplace. If you don't watch it, it can burn your house down. <laughs> uh, Sex with me is like a fireplace because in some Scandinavian countries there are just channels that play that on TV all day. <laughs> that is true. Sex with me is like a fireplace. You really want to look at it, but it's definitely burning your eyes. <laughs> Sex with me is like a fire. I don't know how to start it. <laughs> Yeah, one more, actually. Wait, sex with me is like a fire, because... <laughs> <laughs> one more, it's only 48. Yeah. Yeah. Occupation, object, also the ones that were shouted out before I want to hear. Spider-webs. 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 spider with octopus. <laughs> and we won't use the obvious joke. Well, maybe we will. Sex with me is like an octopus. I can fit into whatever my beak can. <laughs> Sex with me is like an octopus, way more intelligent than it looks. <laughs> Sex with me is like an octopus. Once I start sucking. <laughs> Sex is like an octopus. Some people are scared to try it at first, but once they do. <laughs> Sex with me is like an octopus. Very expensive at a Japanese restaurant. <laughs> Convergent evolution. <laughs> Sex with me is like an octopus because sometimes I get nervous and so I just put up a black screen and then everything. <laughs> uh, Sex with me is like an octopus. Pro 
prominently featured in the aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like an octopus, really good in grease. <laughs> Sex with me is like an octopus. Oh, oh my god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> Sex with me is like an octopus. I'm always like, why are you trying to blend in with your surroundings and escape me? Please be terrified. Sex with me is like sex with an octopus. I'm just realizing this. I have no idea how it works. <laughs> sex with me is like sex with an octopus. There's a cloaca. <laughs> One more. I keep on we lying. Sorry. Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> We've done Spider-Web. What? Dentist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the DMV. What? Joey. The DMV. <laughs> <laughs> the Joey. Yeah, do the Joey. All right, sure. We'll do the Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like the Joey because if you get hit by it, your tuition is free. <laughs> <laughs> Parents understand that Joey is the shuttle system that gets us around campus. Thank you. Sex with me is like the joke. I wrote it twice today. <laughs> Sex with me is like Joey because the best part is getting off. <laughs> Sex with me is like the Joey because it never comes on time. <laughs> Sex with me is like the Joey. No one ever thanks me. <laughs> Sex with me is like the Joey. You get it more if you're an art student. <laughs> is like the Joey. You'll think it will be faster, but then you're just kind of like sitting there with a bunch of other people for a while. <laughs> Sex with me is like the Joey, because you and your friends will go chasing it all around campus and you'll never actually find it. Oh. I like my men like I like my Joey's. Always there to give me a ride uphill whenever I need it. <laughs> uh, sex with me. Oh, I like uh, my partners like I like the Joey. Just pulling away when you were like, all right, I'm ready. <laughs> all right. All right.